Welcome back everybody. It's time to lock down some more popper slivers and it looks like we've got a hmm an interesting hand. We do have the gem hide. To start fixing our mana. So I think I'm going to keep this. Hopefully it's not like a uh, mono black control or something otherwise we might be in trouble if they kill both our gem hides. But I think I'm going to keep. I think I'm going to keep. And you know, we got the double force, we got the gems. And we can start playing out some of our other stuff. Um, not too bad. It's not too bad. Not to be worried. And of course, it's, <laughs> it's black, isn't it? Okay. Uh, put target cre Okay, I'm back on top of your library. All right. Well, if that's their start, that's pretty good. We get another forest. Not great. But we'll take it for now. You know, we'll just keep drawing lands and seeing what we can do. I'll go gem hide into uh, a lord or something. We'll see. Be man efficient. Oh, Galgari. Okay, well, all right. I think we'll be fine now. If this is Galgari, something or another, I shouldn't be too worried. Still want to look out for removal on our gem hides, but they may be up to something. They may be up to something else. So let's see, Red Eagle 1. Three mana, Phyrexian Rager. All right can deal with that starts getting us set up all right a winding way is not terrible either let's just go jemmy into lord past turn for now see what else they do i want to get a better read on what they're they're trying to do with the deck definitely still got to watch out for the removal a card some kind of some kind of something floating black before they drew a card for some reason elvish visionary again all right plenty of card draw that's for dang sure well get in there for two why not not gonna worry about it yet plated is decent Let's go Winding Way first and see what kind of creatures we can hit. All right. We got a bunch of stuff we can play. That's good. I kind of just want to put out as many creatures as possible. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're just going to play all our one drops. Oops. Undo. Don't want to show them the winged yet. Just going to put out a big board. With a good, a decent defense, three is fine. And if they can't handle this, if they can't, like, start killing something this turn, then we're right as rain, and we can just, you know, drop a lord, drop our winged, and start swinging in for some major damage. Which I'm all about. Yeah, they gotta be, they gotta be looking for some stuff. They gotta be getting worried now. Double Flying King's no joke, and it's not even gonna really bother us too much okay yeah they're just gonna do this then fine by me what'd be really clutch right now is just to make it a little bit easier and for us to attack in with more creatures is to draw a planes heart's cool heart's very cool but we have to go here here yeah i guess we just do it yeah let's just let's just get it going huh all right um yeah we're gonna put you down and then we're gonna smash you down and yeah we'll get in for this too oh no never mind undo that uh cancel we're not gonna play it i just want to swing with as many creatures as possible and get in there that's a gnarly hit i like it yeah we got flyers <laughs> okay <laughs> i was gonna say sideboard now all right. Uh, I still don't know what they're on about. They're just doing this weird card draw into Oblivion thing. What did we see? Not a ton that I'm worried about, so I guess just Benevolent might be decent against the removal that they'll definitely start bringing in. I don't think Sentinel is going to be as good. We're not going to be really worried about them attacking too much, it seems. Cut one of those and... Mm, black. Kind of want to keep the Winding Ways. Seems like striking's not going to be super necessary, so let's run it like that. Yeah, sure. 
Seems reasonable. Oh man, the combos with the heart and the winged. So good. So fun. So fun. All right. Let's see how they do this. Oh, maybe I should have... Black Relic can sometimes be good, but I don't think they gave us enough info for us to really do that. The only card they gave us was that their tap land that can bring a creature card back on top of their library. But I don't think that's enough for me to want to put any relics in. But you never know. It's, it's black, so they may have other stuff that regards the graveyard, but it's also green. And they're playing a lot of card draw elves. Visionaries and land wars for days. He's like, all right, man, he's just gonna dump all the creatures and bring in all the removal. I feel like <laughs> cut all those land war elves or not land war elves, land war visionaries, and start putting in all that removal. All right, give us a good hand, good fresh hand that I don't have to mully. Oh, beautiful. Well, semi beautiful. It's not. It's not great. <laughs> I'm not, it's not something I'm going to toss back, but, uh, you know, I would take one less gem hide, that's for sure. But, all right, let's, uh, see what we can do here. All right, we've got a Viverlent. So it doesn't really matter too much, um, yeah, let's just put down the Viverlent. Viverlent, Go. Maybe I should be less unassuming with by playing like a Sidewinder, because they may just kill him here. But whatever, we're just going to go gem hide into Sidewinder anyways, so. Alright, they're just going to keep doing their card draw thing. I don't really know. I'm going to have to look. I, I forget what this deck's on about, but uh, yeah, just the same game plan. We do have our mana fixing now, so that's good. Alright, go ahead. Play this out. We'll call the blue. We cut our other red, so we've only got one heart sliver in there. Hiding somewhere, and we've got three gem hides, so... You know, it is what it is. We'll call our blue on the Thriving Grove, and... Uh, if they tap out, I think I'm just going to play a Lord and Swing. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you gain two life. When it dies, draw a card. They love their card draw. They love their card draw. Well, that thing's definitely going to be chump blocking us. Uh, do I need this extra land for anything? No, I think I still want to do the same game plan. I'll get this out. I'll call blue. We'll go ahead and put a Lord out. And, uh, yeah, we'll start getting in for some damage. We'll keep, we'll put the pressure on him for this turn. We just got two gem hides in hand. Not, uh, we'll get them out when we get them out at this point. Our pressure's already on board, so. These guys will just be extra benefits later when we need them. Need to definitely draw into some uh, some more power, though. Some more creatures. That'd be nice. Um, yep, go ahead. Surprising they didn't block with the filigree. Mm, oh, I know. Is this that weird combo where you just kill stuff, bring it back, kill stuff, bring it back? Draw your whole deck and then, like, mill us or something? I don't know. I feel like I've seen this before. I've definitely played this one before. I've, I must have, but can't I can't quite put my finger on it at the moment. So I'm not even going to try to guess. Watch it just become acid trip after a 30 minute game. <laughs> oh, that was too funny. 30 minutes of just wondering what the heck deck I was playing against, and it was just an acid trip all along. <laughs> it disguised it so well. All right, beautiful. Now we're in some real shape. Let's go ahead and just uh, put down extra pressure. Again, I kind of just want to swing. I'm not even worried about playing the gem hide. I want creatures to swing. And we will. They have uh, a lot of mana up right now, so they may kill something. But having an extra lord out is pretty nice. And even if they manage to kill both our lords, we still trade with, uh, trade with the familiar. Yep, there goes one, sure. Let's 
chump block, sure. Now, do you have that card that'll, like, buff him and then bring him back? He does. After he dies... Oh, no, he's just sacking him? Okay. Uh, sack, draw two cards, sure. Well, he draws three cards off of that. That's pretty impressive. All right, we sneak in for four more damage and two more poisonous. We're getting there. I still don't know... Uh, what I should be looking out for. Cycling a lot, though. But this isn't the cycling deck. Grab another swamp. Return one. It's fine. And passing with the removal up, I guess. Ash Baron. <laughs> Uh, well, we don't really need that right now, do we? Let's go ahead and cycle it out of our hand. Just get it out of here right now. Uh, we will grab our... Don't really need anything else. I guess we'll just grab a... Got two of each. I'm just going to grab a forest. Play it all out. There you go. You can kill my lord, but you may want to consider killing that poisonous soon. Ah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Moments peace. Mother fricker. We're going to have to deal with the moments peace for a turn or two. Hopefully not more than that, though. Hopefully they can't uh, bring it back too much. So many cards in hand. I want a refill. That's what I want. I just want a refill just to launch a giant board at them and just take a turn since... All right, they got a Gurmog. That's fine. It is kind of annoying. Yeah, you got tap right. You got to make sure you hold up uh, flashback. Yeah. Yep. Got to hold back the flashback. All right. What can we actually hit them for next turn? We can hit them for five poisonous. That's nice. Beautiful. They block one. They take five poisonous. Or they just... No, they're just going to do the moment's piece. Duh. Um, hmm. Yeah. This is why I wanted uh, a refill this turn. That way we could still get a couple lords down and not have to worry too much about this Gurmog. Because now we're just trying to outpace their card draw. Because they can just keep drawing removal for days. Moments peace and they eat a creature, but we get rid of their moments peace. I don't know if that's worth it. Conversely, they we could pass. You know what? I'm just gonna attack with like uh, all these guys. Yeah, I'm gonna attack like this. I don't want them to eat my lord, uh, but I do want to force their moments peace away. So they can eat one of our creatures here. Definitely the Sidewinder's going to go bye bye And then they can crack the moment's piece, get it out of their graveyard. And we can still get in for nothing, because they'll crack them. I, keep, I don't know why I'm thinking, like, moment's piece isn't going to do anything. <laughs> but I do just want to get it out of their graveyard. I want it, I want it to be done. Oh, they're just taking it. They're going to five. All right, they're going to hold on to it for another turn. Fair. Seven poisons, though. Now we on, like Donkey Kong. Just give me a good card next turn, will ya? Get some more chump blockers. Pass. Hold up the moments piece again. Gain a life, that's nice. 
we get another lord, I'll definitely swing out. It's not what I want to see. It's not what I want to see. Do I want to keep losing my board just for like one poisonous? Because they can chump block with the land of war and they can eat. Because uh, what I do is I probably just swing with the gem hides. Maybe convince them not to do their moments piece again. Hmm. Interesting. I just, I want to be able to trade with the Skirmog. That's the most frustrating part. Is like, man, one Lord, I, I would just want to like try to go, but mm, it's rough. It's like an eat, eat. I'm going to pass for a turn. I don't know. I don't know what seems worth it. They probably let in three damage and uh, one poisonous. But then we get one of our gem hide eaten. I mean, it's a gem hide, so, like, who cares that much? But also, like, I don't know. Ooh. Ah, interesting. So Gurmog gets some trample. Sustian's training, huh? Yeah. Cool card. My friend used this in one of his standard decks a lot. It was pretty dope. I don't know how efficient it's going to be for their deck, but... They do have a 6-5 trample. Nothing to joke about. They're starting to get to the point where they can hold up mana and a kill spell too if they really wanted. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. That's really terrible. At this point, do I just say, F it, let's make them crack everything, they can eat whatever they want. It's going to start to go badly for me, I can feel it. Alright, let's apply some pressure. Let's swing like this. Let's try to sneak in there for a little bit more. We'll lose one of our guys. But at the very least we can we can see if they want to get the moments piece out or not. And I'm gonna get my coffee. My coconut. Yep, there's the cast down. That's lovely. Still haven't targeted our Viverlin yet, so we're still getting in there for Poisonous, but uh, now we just traded off two creatures. Not great. We keep drawing lands. This is what I was concerned about. Them just being able to withstand until they can get enough mana to just hold up kill spells and an extra moments piece in the graveyard just in case. Flying Death Touch, huh? Yeah, Bone Picker. Forgot about you. I haven't seen a lot of people play with you yet. Give me a refill. Mother. That's awesome. Alright, well. If they kill our Lord here. 
that I might just concede. <laughs> Go to game three, because I don't want to hang around in this match too long. Hmm, extra defense and reach. Interesting. This is just like a weird Golgari mid-range, basically. We just got very unlucky with our draws, though. That's for dang sure. Otherwise, they would be dead right now. Any decent draw, any halfway decent draw would have just put us over the edge. Another flying death touch. Hmm. That's awesome. That's awesome. Holy cow. We've gotten almost every land we could. Insane. Yep. Start swinging in with those uh, bone pickers. Got to race us somehow. I got three cards in hand. Let's see if they play anything. But Juka. So two cards in hand. All right. I'm just going to swing fast and maybe they'll forget their, their stuff. You don't have a moment's peace in the graveyard. You forgot about it. You have no removal in hand. You didn't notice it. Uh, what do we draw? We drew like five turns in a row land every time. All right, that's fine. Let's go to game three. I'm, I'm done with this one. They have me on a, a nice clock. Oh boy, so do I even care about... Relic? I just don't want to... I just don't want to be slowed down for, like, just one moment's piece. Not that I really want to cut, either. Winged is going to be good, because we can, we can power out a ton before they can get down their little birds. I'm just going to run it back. I'm just going to run it back. Yes. Oh, man, that's rough. My gosh. This is how we end. This is how it ends. Jeez. All right. Put you back. I guess we'll put you back. What a lovely start, hey? Ugh. Let's see what we can do with this. We got a little bit of pressure, but... Kill spells can be coming quick. Go ahead. That's good. All right, we're about to get in for some good damage now, though. Beautiful. All right, what else can we get? Oh, he's got a discard. Okay. Sounds good to me. Call that. Put him down. Swing in for six. Going? <laughs> All right. Well, we're drawing the gas from the mulligan. And uh, they're close to dead. So they need a chump locker. There's their chumpy. More land, but uh, 
All right. Let's just get in there. Get them for eight. Put them down to four. Clean this crew up. Come on. Do you have what it takes? You either got, I don't think they do. I don't think they have enough now. Three mana, they can either like drop a creature or do a kill spell. I mean, their best save would be if they have moments peace in hand, but it doesn't look like it considering how they're tapping. And we'll save one more land, but Zealot, draw a card, lose a life. Sure. Yep. Got to play it. Got to play it. Got to see what that card draw is going to be. They could still have a chance if they put down a green mana here. If they put down a green, then maybe they have moments peace in hand. Doesn't look like it. I don't know what that's going to do, because now you're pretty much tapped out. And we got them. We got there in the end. Uh, that was a bit rough, those last two games. Mulling on the last one, uh, barely squeaking through, though. Thankfully, we drew those lords. And, like, what, five, six turns in a row, just all lands for game two. Insane. But, hey, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed that one. Make sure to stay tuned for more four-color popper slivers coming up the rest of the week. And we will see you guys in the next video.